All right, guys, welcome back. So this is video two. We're just gonna pick up right where we left off and we're gonna install Kali Linux now and we're gonna download the virtual machine version for Kali and then we'll walk through these steps, all right? So remember, please like, subscribe and share and all that good stuff and let's get into it. All right, so let me open up a few things on here. Just make sure I have everything good to go. So pretty much we're gonna, you know, where we left off last time, so, or where we left off five minutes ago. All right, so now we can just do Kali Linux, download. Just go out to Google, and it's from Offensive Security, so you can go to Kali.org as well. So let's go ahead and get Kali. I like the dark mode because it's easier on my eyes. So we have the installer image or virtual machines. So if you click on virtual machines, it'll bring you to the pre-built. This is what we will do in this serious because it's it's there already right and then i am going to add one awesome video which is called pimp my cali and i install that on all my calis and heath adams uh shows that in his series for the pmpt and it's awesome because it fixed a lot of bugs and it just does awesome things so we're going to do that so that's going to be included in these little videos i don't know when i'm going to do it maybe the next video or so but we'll get it all right, so pre-built, let's go ahead and download VirtualBox. So it's about two gigs. So this is probably gonna take a minute. I don't know if I have this already. Let me see if I actually downloaded this already prior to this. Yes, I did. All right, so I wanna go ahead and cancel this because I already downloaded it and I, I extracted it and everything like that. So let's go ahead and let me make sure because maybe I, yeah, it's 20, It's right here. So pretty much what we have to do is open up VirtualBox. Once you have it downloaded, what I would do this, man, I have so many open. All right, let's open just one. So what I would do, I would move this to Documents. So I created a Hacking Lab 2023. So there's Metasploitable, we'll get into that later and then the virtual machines for 2022.4, okay? So I'm just gonna rename this folder, okay? And this is where my VMs are gonna live, okay? You can put them on anywhere you want. The, the proper way to do it, what, what I would normally would recommend is put it on an external drive. You're gonna have all your VMDKs or your VDIs or whatever you want on an external hard drive, and then you can have it portably so you can always have it with you. But for the sake of setting up this lab at home, it's pretty much not gonna be going out and about, it's gonna be at home, all right? So let's go ahead and, excuse me, open this up. And then we're gonna go ahead and import a VM because we already downloaded a pre-built one, correct? So let's go ahead and in import. So we have local file system. This is the source because this is where it's, the data resides locally. And then we can click on this little arrow Go to wherever your VM is, double click on here. In our case, we're doing Kali Linux 2022.4. Double click this, and where is my, hold on, where is my, uh, doo -doo -doo. is it not there? That's weird. Yeah, it is there. Why isn't it? Why don't I see it though? That's weird. All right, so let me see if I can just add. Sometimes, let's see. Yeah, I guess you just have, all right, I did that a little quick. All right, so what, what you have to do is just add it. Import it because it's not an OVA. You know, you just have to add it as a new virtual machine. So that's my fault. You can see how often I uh, install virtual machines here. So let's go ahead and go to settings here. And I wanna go ahead and just rename this to 2022.4. Okay, so now I can do a few uh, modifications. So description, to log into your default Kali is Kali Kali. And then disk encryption, 
So what I want to do is I want to make some modifications. I want to do four gigs because I have eight gigs on here. And I did this with this laptop on purpose because I know folks out there have maybe eight to 16 gigs in their, on their desktop or their laptop. And I want to show you guys that with what you have, you can do this, right? So I'm not using some crazy machine like my machine back there it has a 256 gigs of RAM. And I haven't even booted that machine up in, in ages. I shouldn't have said that because, but yeah. So let's go ahead and just add a few more gigs here. I'll do like three gigs, right? Because it's not going to be a, you know, a crazy, crazy Cali machine because I don't, I don't need too much. Uh, I don't need too much right now. So two processes is fine. Whoops, two processes are fine for me. All right, so this is all good. Display, 128, that's perfectly fine. And the network. So we're gonna change this in the next video, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna actually set up the network. You know what, let's just do this now, since we're here. All right, so let's go ahead and hit okay here. Pretty much the network is set up. Right, excuse me, the VM is set up now. So what we're gonna do is go to tools. Let's go click on preferences, okay? Preferences, we have, you know, input, update. You can, you know, see if you have updates. I can actually click on check for updates. And then we have interfaces. Where is network? Uh, did I miss something? Did they change it? All right, that's strange. Let's see if uh, preferences, virtual machines, let's, that's really strange because it, it was right on. All right, so let's do this. <laughs> let's go ahead and go back to settings. Let me see if I do machine maybe. Let's go back up here to tools, machine. Uh, maybe network, uh, that's, I don't think it's network manager. Uh, oh yeah, maybe it is, they changed it. So I just learned something new. So we're gonna go on the NAT networks and then we're gonna create a new NAT network. So let's open this up, this is really tiny. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna make this network. You can probably zoom it in or whatever. I don't know how to do all that editing, funny, fancy stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna put this infosec path network. And then my network, I'm gonna put as 10.10 or 10.0.200.0 slash 24. That's what I wanna put, okay? So I wanna put apply. Okay, so let's go back to Cali, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to settings one more time, go to network, and then NAT network, we're gonna go to NAT network, and then InfoSec Pat network, okay? So now we click okay, and let's hit start. And once we have an IP address, once we log in, Cali Cali, get to our desktop, if we do an IP or if config or IPA, we should see an IP address from the 10.0.200 network that's pulling from DHCP that we just set up, all right? So let's go ahead and just make this bigger and give this a moment. And this is the beauty of having these pre-built VMs because we don't have to actually set it up ourselves. It's pre-built, so how cool is that? So that's, uh, that's definitely cool, all right? So we can just log in as Kali Kali, okay? And then we can just get rid of this. All right, let's see if we can make this bigger. There we go. Just took a second. All right, so let's open up a terminal. And just do an if config ETH zero, right? Because, whoa. All right, let's clear that and let's do that again. All right, so you can see here all right, you see here, 10.0.200.4, that's my IP address. So if we ping, 
google.com, we can get onto the internet. Okay, so that's pretty much how we install it. The next video, we'll do the Pimp My Cali. So until next time, please like, subscribe, share, do all that fun stuff, and wait for the next video. All right, don't go anywhere. Click next, press the next button, whatever. Watch these videos in order and watch till the end. All right, guys, see you soon.